This video is going over what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2018, but we're going to be focusing on the SOLIDWORKS Inspection Standalone product. And again, we're going to take a look at some additional 2D file support that's now available inside of 2018. In the past, we've been able to use PDF and TIFF files in order to really use SOLIDWORKS Inspection Standalone. In 2018, we can now also include CATIA version 5 drawings DXFs, DWGs, as well as PDFs and TIFFs. In addition, we can also support 3D files as well. There is a separate video on that topic if you are interested, but this video is going to be covering only the 2D file support. So let's take a look at the software. I'm going to start a brand new project, again choose my template, and immediately we're going to see in our drop-down menu that we can choose 2D files. And we see TIFFs, CAT drawings, DWGs, and DXFs. I'm going to choose my plate DWG and open this file. Once this opens, we're going to see a 2D drawing type. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on a specific area. Now we can see all of the different datum reference frames and dimensions here. Inside of 2018, we now have an additional function that's available to us, and this is a smart extract function. This will allow us to choose specific items that could have potentially been on different layers inside of the original 2D drawing. And with ease, we can start grabbing all of this information. And we can always do box selections to really speed up this process and make sure everything that we want is going to be ballooned and included. I'm going to zoom in on a couple balloons here. There are some additional settings inside of the project settings and inside of the template itself that you can now specify to create some type of automation. One of these items is whenever we change the actual classification of a balloon or of a dimension, in this case if we change from major to critical, the balloon shape will automatically change. The same thing we can set up for either minor or incidental. Again, we notice the automatic change in the balloon shape on balloons 5 and 6 when I did change the classification. This is going to reduce a lot of manual editing that you'll have to do. Again, this is all being driven from inside of my template and inside of my project information and project settings. Inside of the 2D document, we also now have the ability to choose multiple numbering sequences. Right now I'm using just the default sequence, but I can also choose a 100, 200 sequence, and these are items that again we can specify inside of our options. Once I choose a specific sequence, my smart extract is going to compensate for the actual numbering scheme. If we're starting from an existing project, it'll pick up where it left off. If not, it'll start at the first number in that sequence. I'm going to zoom in here so we can get an idea of this new numbering sequence. So we can visually see that difference between the default and this new 100 numbering sequence. Once we have all of our information ballooned, we can export all of this information back into Excel. Inside of 2018, we can include document snapshots. There's some that have already been created for us. This is essentially a print screen of what is inside your graphics area. If I want to create a customized snapshot, I can simply click on the camera key and we'll see this has now been set to custom. I can choose a combination of items that I want to export when I push all this into Excel. I'm letting SOLIDWORKS go through everything, it's grabbing the snapshots, it's compiling all of the ballooned information, and we'll see our Excel spreadsheet that's already been set up for us. We see our snapshots, the entire model as well, and of course Form 3 is set ready to go for our inspection team. So a lot of automation built automatically into SOLIDWORKS inspection. So we saw a lot of capability here, including the file support for additional 2D documents, such as CATIA version 5 drawings, DXFs, and DWGs. We also saw that we can utilize the new Smart Extract tool. We can take snapshots and make use of different dimensioning schemes and sequences.